So now we're going to look at this example, 42 divided by 7. So in our brains, we immediately think to ourselves, okay, if I want to calculate what is 42 divided by 7, that's the same thing as asking what number times 7 gives me 42. What number times 7 gives me 42? So I need to figure out this multiplication table, 7. Let's count it out together. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 6. So we can see here that this will be 6. Okay? Okay. So let's say I, I have 42 pounds of... Uh, of tortilla mix and I want to sell it in bags of seven pounds each then I can see from here 42 pounds divided into quantities of seven into uh, let's say sacks of seven pounds e seven pounds each will tell us that we will get six sacks okay so I just wanted to restate this problem for us um, this was of course not part of this original problem but like I said in a previous video, whenever you're doing a math problem, it's always nice somewhere in your brain um, to think of a possible application of this math concept. Because again, even though in another previous problem, we talked about the fact that, yes, we don't need a justification to do math, we cannot forget or lose sight of the fact that there are utilitarian benefits to learning math. There's utility to it. We can use it for useful things. And I don't want you to let go of it. And also on a separate note, from a learning perspective, whenever you think of an interpretation of that math topic, it helps you to learn that topic better because you have this calculation aspect, like what we did here. We have, uh, but we also have that practical aspect. So for example, here in this, for example, if we had this word problem, it would yield this um, question which we then solved. So suppose we have 42 pounds of tortilla mix and each sack of tortilla mix has to have seven pounds. So for example, this might be for a bakery. A bakery might order sacks of seven pounds. They'll obviously order a lot more than that or, the, or they'll order tons of sacks, but you can't expect them to be selling sacks of 50 to 60 pounds, okay? So if you're gonna if you're gonna have seven pounds per sack, how many sacks can you fill? Well, we would ask, what is 42 divided by seven? And as we saw earlier, six. 42 divided by seven is six. So that means in this particular case, we could fill six sacks of seven pounds each out of this 42 pounds of mix, okay? I hope you all have enjoyed this example and we will be in communication. Yes.